Hello guys, this is Afrikenya. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel, guys. And for the subscribers, thanks very much. So guys, kindly continue watching my videos and continue liking my videos. So today, guys, um, <coughs> I want us to be spiritual today. I want us to talk about something which we rarely talk about. That's fasting, guys. So fasting, you know, uh, if you fast... The stubborn problems that you have will go away. If you fast, it means that you will deny yourself food and God will intervene. You will um, pray, take your time to pray. And again, if you are fasting, um, maybe the food that you are eating during that time that you are fasting, you can share with someone who doesn't have. So you can say this week, I'm not going to take meat, I'm going to pass, to, to fast. So... The food that you could eat on that week, or sugar, or maybe ugali, you can give it to somebody who doesn't have. But now, guys, let's uh, look about fasting and talk about it uh, in brief, guys. So, first of all, let's um, talk about fasting. Let's define what's fasting. Fasting is a principle in, in itself. Fasting is a major biblical principle. It's a principle. Before you fast, you should make a principle and you should say that I want to fast. So, it's a principle and it's not only a principle, but it's a biblical principle. So, guys, fasting is the intern, uh, intentional denial of any kind of physical pleasure. When you want to fast, you intentionally deny yourself any physical pleasure for a set period of time in order to obtain higher spiritual purpose. So guys, uh, fasting typically entails putting food aside. However, we can fast from any physical desire. You can fast from food or you can fast from anything that you desire that is physical. You can leave it and fast. It means that you deny food and you can also fast from any other thing that is physical. You can say, I'm not going to do this this week or for two days or three days or seven days. Uh, and when you start fasting, guys, you know it's not an easy thing. Denying yourself food, just drinking warm water is not easy. So if you've not ever fasted, if you want to fast, you can start by doing the three-day fasting. First of all, you cannot run and start the seven-day fasting before you start with the three-day because it's not an easy exercise. And it needs that you really um, be able to fast and give yourself to God. So... Um, in this case, you can even leave the television for a period of time in order for you to spend actual time praying and waiting on God. You can leave those other things which you enjoy. You can leave the internet um, for a period of time in order to spend time with your God and obtain as, uh, and pray as you wait for God. And then fasting requires one to give up the material world in order to invoke the supernatural so you give out the material world in order for you to get the supernatural you know the material world and the supernatural cannot meet at any point so you should leave the material world for you to get the supernatural um, requirements that you want and then um, fasting requires um, fasting allows you to stay to stay no to yourself so that you can hear God's yes in a time of need or crisis. You say no to yourself and say no to God in order for you to meet God in time of crisis. So you should deny yourself, deny your personal desires in order for you to get a yes from God. And then it was common in the Bible when people needed to make a spiritual breakthrough. Um, it means that fasting, when people want to make a breakthrough in something, you need to fast in order for you to break that step on problem. So if you want to, to get a breakthrough, you to fast for it and pray and God will open a way and you will get a breakthrough of whatever you want. And then fasting is a good way to deal with physical or emotional needs. If you want to deal with your needs and you want to ask God, so fasting is the most beautiful thing to use when you want to achieve something. Also, uh, if you want to deal with challenging circumstances or relationships or ministry problems, or, um, we need to occasionally 
clear we occasionally need clear guidance on these things and when you need clear guidance on these things you need to talk to god in through fasting so you live to deny yourself you need to deny yourself and accept god you, you need to say no to yourself and say yes to god and then if um we should fast with god in mind for his pleasure when you fast you should put god in mind you should live your physical um, life and put God uh, fast so that you'll be able to fast and God will be able to hear you. And then fasting satisfies God the same way food satisfies you. So fasting satisfies, uh, satisfies God the way food satisfies you. And then fasting attracts God's attention. When you fast, you attract God's attention. And then uh, we feed our bodies and store our and restore our souls. When we fast, it means we prioritize our souls rather than our bodies. So, when you fast, it means that you are uh, prioritizing your soul because you are not feeding your body, but you are pri prioritizing your soul. And then when we fast, we are bleeding with God to nourish our souls. When you fast, you are bleeding with God to nourish your soul. Uh, and then and to remove stubborn problems in our life. So when you fast, God will nourish your soul and remove those stubborn problems from your life. And then if you fast, you will make more spiritual progress. So if you have dragged back in spiritual problems, you need to fast in order for you to make a spiritual progress. And then fasting is a spiritual practice that focuses on sharpening our inner individual. Fasting um, focuses on sharpening our uh, inner, our inner individual in order to achieve spiritual victory. If you fast, you will achieve a spiritual victory, guys. So, I want us to see the benefits of fasting. The benefits, you know, fasting in most cases, you fast in order for you to pray. So, in other, in other words, we are talking about the benefits of prayer. Uh, fasting and prayer is one because you fast in order for you to pray for something. So if you pray, it means that um, God will answer your prayer. But not only praying. If you see that these problems are stubborn, you want to nourish your soul, you want to improve your inner soul, you need to fast. And whatever begins in prayer ends in power. If you begin something in prayer, it will surely end in power because prayer is powerful and whoever prays receives powers from god and then let uh, let let's travel in prayer until we prevail and then let us pray again start with a prayer if you've prayed and nothing has happened can you fast can you pray again can you insist can you repeat because when you are praying god is there to answer so if you pray and pray again God will surely answer your prayer because you will be insisting. Insisting will help you and God will answer your prayer. And then whatever is rooted in prayer, it cannot be uprooted by the hands of men. Anything that is rooted in prayer cannot be uprooted. So prayer is so powerful, guys. And when you pray in faith and something is rooted in prayer, it cannot be uprooted. And then um, victories are won on the knees. If you want to win anything, if you want to achieve anything, you should kneel down and pray. And then fight your petals on your knees. Any petal that you have, you should fight on your knees. Be on your knees and pray to God and he will surely answer your prayers. And then um, seek God more in prayer. If you want to seek God more, you should use your prayer. Pray and that will lead you to getting attention from God. And then, um, every dryness in my prayer life, get fire. If there is any dryness in your prayer life, if you, maybe you want to pray and something is dragging you back, may that dryness in your prayer get fire, guys. And then, um, may God ignite my prayer life with fire. May you have fire. May, may you desire more to pray to God and God will surely answer your prayer and help you. And then prayer is the meeting point between divinity and humanity. Prayer is the meeting point between you and your God. If you really pray and believe, that's the point that you will meet you, you are God. And then um, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If you are there to pray, God is there to answer 
your prayers and then um pray with faith until your prayer is answered if you pray also you should be having faith you should not just be praying pray having faith and your prayers will be answered by God because if there is a man to pray there's a God to answer the prayers and then um if there is a nation to pray, there is a call to answer. If you pray individually, or if you pray as a nation, or if you pray as a family, or if you pray as friends, God is there to answer prayers. And then humble yourself and pray, I will answer, says God. If you humble yourself before the Lord and pray, God is there and he says, I will answer your prayer. And then when you pray, something happens, definitely. If you humble yourself and pray before God, something will definitely happen. And then um, God that we serve is a prayer answering God. That God that you serve will surely answer your prayer. If you pray in faith and you serve your God faithfully, he will surely answer your prayer. He who kneels before God stands before anyone. If you kneel before God, God will exalt you and you will stand before anyone. And you will eat in the tables of the kings, guys. And then God thanks my prayer request to praise. Report, if you request God in prayer, he will turn your prayer request to praise. Report, and then prayer is an indication to your spiritual life is an indicator if you are praying it means that you are spiritually um you, you have a spiritual life because that's an indicator that you are spiritual if you pray it's an indicator that you are spiritual and then uh, when prayers are answered it increases your faith if you pray and god answers your prayer you will be more faithful yani you will um your faith will surely increase because God answers your prayer, you'll be happy and your faith will increase more. And then um, when prayers are delayed, it increases your patience. If your prayers are answered, it increases your faith. If your prayers are delayed, it increases your patience. So when your prayers are not answered, it means God has something better for you. So if your prayers are answered immediately, God answers prayers in three ways. If your prayers are answered immediately, your faith will definitely increase. And if uh, your prayers are delayed a little bit, it means that something better is coming. And God will surely answer your prayer. You do not say that God is not going to answer your prayer. And then thirdly, um, when prayers are not answered immediately, they will be answered, but it should not be immediately. Maybe they will, they will be answered later. So... If they are not answered immediately, if they delay, it means that something better or something best is coming. Um, so guys, I wanted just to share with you uh, something about fasting. Because you know, if you fast, you get um, the stubborn, uh, <laughs> I almost said stubborn stains, the stubborn problems in your life. If you have stubborn problems in your life, just pray. Just fast and God will surely answer your prayer. But only if you have faith. Your prayers will not be answered if you, are, if you don't have faith. You don't have to doubt God. Just have faith and pray and know that God will surely answer your prayer. So guys, for today, we've talked about fasting and faith. So guys, um, this uh, the end of our video today. Kindly, kindly, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel at Africanian. Guys, kindly continue watching my videos. Kindly, guys, support me by watching my videos and subscribing and liking my videos, guys. As I always say, crap greatness by the end all, guys. Bye-bye.